So I know a lot of us, myself included, woke up uh, just recently and found that Chrome had updated itself and had also changed its nice icon to this kind of ugly two-dimensional icon. It used to be nice and pretty and three-dimensional like all the other Mac icons, but now it's just kind of flat and kind of ugly. And I kind of get it because it fits with the whole philosophy of Google, of minimalism. Uh, you know, I get that, but it's still ugly. So it's actually easy to change the icons. Uh, I did it recently, so I thought I'd just put together this tutorial to show you how to do it. If you're not already watching uh, from my website, uh, which is www.christolly.ca, that's C-H-R-I-S-T-O-L-L-E-Y dot C-A, go there because there you can actually also download the old icon, which is the pretty three-dimensional icon. It's actually just an image file with the actual image itself as the icon. Now, once you've downloaded that, just click on that, and you can either do Apple I or you can right-click to get info. It does the same thing. And you get this little info window. And up here is actually where the icon is. So you can copy and paste icons between applications, just like you can copy and paste text between word processors. So just click on this icon, and you see there's a little blue halo that's around there. Now just do an Apple C, or you can go up to Edit and do a copy. Either way, it's once again the same thing. And now you've just copied this icon here from this file into your clipboard. And now all you need to do is just go to your application folders, find Google Chrome, and do the same thing, either Apple I or right click for get info, and you get this window again. And you can actually just paste that other icon into this icon. Now before you do it, you just have to do one thing. You have to change that little lock down here. So just click on that and then type in your password. And then you have to tell it that everyone for some reason, can read and write, and I think you include everyone. So now that you've changed that, it allows you to make changes to this window. So then just click on that icon there, and then just paste it, which is Apple V, or once again, you can just go to Edit and go to Paste. And there you go. It's the three-dimensional icon there. So you can close this off, and if you notice in your window, it's the pretty three-dimensional icon. Now. It won't actually change in your dock right away, so you have to pull the old one out of your dock and pull the new one back into your dock. But once you've done that, all of a sudden, the old 3D icon is back again, and life has gone back to normal. I hope this helps.